What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to implement the custom video header within our DevWP training theme. So what am I talking about? Well, if you go to some websites, you're going to see that they have a video in the header section and that's becoming a popular feature. So I started looking into how we can implement this into the DevWP training theme. And the end result is we have this. The way I implemented it is we have the um, thumbnail image coming straight from YouTube with the play button right in the center. We also have a play button down here and I'll clean this up with some CSS at a later point. But what we have is the play button. Hi, my name is Joe from Pixelmerb.com. If you're looking to create an amazing website either by coding it yourself or by using a pre-built... And we have the video right there with sound. Now, by default, WordPress does not enable you to do this. Even when you add the custom video feature, what you're going to end up with is something like this. This is the 2017 implementation of the custom video in the header section. When you reload the browser, it's set to autoplay and there's no sound. Now maybe that's fine. Maybe that's the way you want to implement it. And you'll be able to do that with the code that I show you in this video. Or maybe you want to have the sound inserted into the video the way I have it over here and not set to autoplay. Hi, my name is Joe from Pixelmerb.com. If you're looking to create... So let's get started. Let's get this going. In order to do that, we're going to be working on our local installation. I have the WWP training theme right here. And if you haven't seen the previous videos, this is part of a larger playlist on how to create a custom WordPress theme using the underscores starter theme and the bootstrap for front end framework. I'll leave a link to the playlist in the description section and check out the video cards in the upper right hand corner so you can see the other videos and so you can get all the code for DevWP. All right, so let's go to our text editor over here. I'm going to be using Atom for this demonstration. I jump back and forth between the Atom text editor and Visual Studio Code, and those are what I use on a daily basis. But what we're going to do here is open up our DevWP training theme, and we're going to be working with a couple of files. So we're going to work with the header.php file, the functions.php file, and the custom header.php file. So we're going to start off in this file right here. And I'm going to change a couple of values, specifically within the width section and height. We'll put that to 1140 and 641 for the custom header. Now down here, we'll put in our single quotation marks. Type out video, equal sign, and then the greater than sign. and then the Boolean value of true. So make sure it looks like that, video, and then true. Make sure the syntax looks like that. Then save it. So now if we go over here. This is the WWP training theme. I'm gonna click on customize. And you see it says header media. Let me show you something real quick. I'm gonna comment this line out, save it, reload the browser. And now it says header image. When you click here, you can only add an image to this location. But if we uncomment this line of code, make sure you save that. Reload the browser. Now it says header media. So now I'm going to click in the header media section. And now we have the potential to add the header video section. So I'm going to enter a YouTube URL. and then click Save and Publish. Now you don't see anything happening here. Let's X out of this, refresh, and nothing changes. We don't have the um, video in the header section. And that's because now we have to add some code to the header.php file. So I'll go back over here, go to header.php. I'm gonna scroll all the way down to right here. I'm gonna give myself some space open up some PHP tags and I'm using the custom header markup function so make sure your syntax looks like that make sure you save it now let's go back to the browser 
refresh or reload your browser, and now we have our video there. Maybe that's as far as you want to go. Maybe you don't want to have it set with sound, and maybe you want to have it autoplay. If that's the case, then you're good to go. But what if you want to have it set to not autoplay, and if you want to have sound included? All right, so in order to do that, we have to take a look at how WordPress is implementing the video header. And the beauty of inspecting elements is you can see what's being included. And once you add the, um, the video capability in your custom header.php file, we now start seeing that we have this file being included by WordPress itself, the wp-custom-header.min.js. And the version number is the current version of WordPress. And if you hover over it, you see the location of that file. It's in our root directory of our WordPress installation in the wp-includes folder in the JS folder, and then it's calling in the wp-custom-header.min.js. So now we know where to look. Let's go over here to our text editor. Minimize that. So I'm going to go into the wp-includes folder, JavaScript folder right here. Scroll down. And you see we have the wp-custom-header.js file right here. And this is the unminified version of the one that's being called in, which is right here. So I'm going to X out of the minified version one. And we're going to start working on this file, but we're not going to hack the core. We're not going to change the code here because that's definitely not recommended. But if we scroll down, we can see what is being utilized for this functionality. And then we can see how we can customize this to suit our needs. So if we go all the way down to the YouTube section, we see we have the YouTube video handler here. Scroll down further. And if you go to line 379, you see it has the uh, e.target.mute function right there. That's what's keeping it mute. Then if you scroll down further to the player vars, it's set to autoplay one, meaning to have it autoplay. Now the controls is set to not show the controls. And one is to disable the keyboard shortcuts. And this is to disable the um, full screen functionality and some of the other controls here. Now there's a bunch of different ways we can customize this, but I'm going to show you the most basic ways in this video here. So what I want to do now is I want to click here, select all, copy, and then I want to go to my themes folder into the distribution folder, JavaScript folder, I'm going to add a new file. And I'm going to call it the exact same name, wp-custom-header.js. And over here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste in all that code, and then I'm going to save it. So now I could uh, X out of this one, because now we have it here. So in our functions.php file, we have to DQ the script that's being called in by WordPress itself. So I'm going to scroll all the way down to the uh, script section. And over here, I'm going to create a new function. So it's a very long name, it's devwp underscore header underscore video underscore dq underscore script. Now you can shorten this up, you can make this a significantly shorter name over here, but I want it to be very clear what this is specifically doing. So we're going to go inside of our curly braces, we're going to use uh, the wp dq script parentheses single quotation marks and uh, the wp-custom-header. Make sure you put your semicolon. Then we're going to deregister that script as well. Because we have to do both. All right, so what we're doing is we're dequeuing the uh, script that WordPress brings in by default, because we're going to be using our custom version of that. And we're also deregistering it as well. Now we have to enqueue our script. And 
And we're going to use the get template directory URI. Now, this set of parentheses. We're going to concatenate. Remember, we put it in our distribution folder and in our JavaScript folder. So we're going to have to put our forward slash, now our single quotation marks first, forward slash dist folder, forward slash JS folder. And then we're calling in the WP dash custom dash header dot JS file. Outside of our single quotation mark, put in a comma. We're going to put in an empty array. We're not using any dependencies for this. We are going to put our an empty string over here. This is for the um, version number. We're not going to be implementing a version number. Put in a comma. We're going to make sure that it's going to be located in the footer section of our website. That way it doesn't become a render blocking issue. Put in your semicolon. Let's save that and let's look at this real quick. We have the function that we're creating. WWP header video DQ script, very long name. We have our curly braces. We're DQing the WP dash custom dash header script that comes with WordPress when you implement the custom video header section. We're also going to deregister that script. And then we're going to enqueue our own version of that script, which is located right here. WP distribution JavaScript right there. Make sure everything matches and the names are correct. Now what we'll have to do is outside of this curly brace, put add action parentheses. WP underscore print underscore scripts and then single quotation marks. I'm just going to copy this right here. Then outside that single quotation mark, I'm going to give it a priority level of 100. All right, so now we have that done properly. Let's go back to our browser. Let's reload. Okay, we got the white screen of death over here, so that means we did something wrong. And I see it already. We forgot our semicolon right there. So let's save that. Reload again. And now we have that. All right, so now what we're going to do is go back to our custom version. You see the path right there. We're going to go to that line 379. This is the area that we're going to target. We're going to comment that line out and then save it. Go back to the browser. Reload. Hi, my name is Joe from Pixelmerb.com. If you're looking to create an amazing website. Now that works. We have the sound implemented. We haven't touched on the autoplay feature yet, but I want to look at the sound again because that's kind of loud. Over here. Hi, my name is Joe. From it's a little bit lower. If you're looking to create an amazing. Versus over here. Hi, my name is Joe. That's louder. So that's kind of shocking. So you don't want to have it that loud. So at this point, what can we do? Let's go back to our code editor. Over here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to target the volume. So I'll put e.target. I'm going to set the volume. Parentheses. And I'm going to put it at uh, 20 for now. It's always good to leave a comment for yourself. All right, so I'm saying to put it to 20%. Make sure you save it. Let's go back to the browser. Reload. Hi, my name is Joe from Pixelmerb.com. If you're looking to create an... All right, so that's much better. All right, so now let's go over here. Let's go back down here. Like I mentioned earlier, autoplay is set to 1, which means it's set to true. 1 is true, 0 is not true or false. So we're going to set this to 0. Save it. Reload. And now you see that it's not auto plane. All right, so now let's take a look at some of these other options over here. The controls are set to zero. We can set that to one. Save it. Reload again. And if you press play, now you have the controls. My name is Joe from Versus if we put it back to zero.
we don't have the controls. All right, so that's up to you if you want to have the controls or not. This one's to disable keyboard shortcuts. So that's another option you can play around with. This is going to be set to zero if you want to have the keyboard shortcuts work. And that's pretty much it. That's how you get the custom video header functionality to have sound and not set to autoplay. With a little bit of code that we used within our header.php file, this line of code right here, our own custom version of the wp-custom-header.js file, our functions.php file, we worked on this uh, script over here to DQ the default script coming in from WordPress and to deregister it. And we include our own version of it. And then this is what we use within our custom-header.php file. Now the thing is this file right here is a lot larger than the minified version that comes in with WordPress. So if you want to minify it, you could either use a task runner, which is going to be very useful. I use Gulp for this uh, task. And what I would do is I would concatenate all my JavaScript files and then minify them. So that could be helpful. But if you want to use a um, online version, you can go to uh, minify. Go over here to something like this. Or you can put in a minify.js. And we can take all of that code, copy it, and paste it right there. And then we can minify it. Select all, copy, go back over here, paste it, and now it's minified. Let's save it. Now doing that removes all our comments. Just remember that. Go back over here to the browser. Make sure it still works. Hi, my name is... And it still works. And we have no errors coming in in our developer console over here. And as you can see, we're calling in our custom header.js file right there. So that's how you can get it to be minified. You can use a online tool like this. Or you can use a task runner to automate the process for you. All right, hopefully you found this video helpful. I wanted to show you how you can get the custom video header section to work properly with our DevWP training theme. And I wanted to show you how you can set it to not autoplay and to have sound as well. And to change the sound volume if you want. Maybe at a later point in time, I'll also show you some code that will add this um, dynamic functionality straight in the customizer to change the volume of the particular video there with some form of slider or something like that, along with some of the other options as well. But I just wanted to show you this basic implementation of how to add this feature. And again, take a look at the description section and take a look at the video cards because this video is part of a larger playlist on how to develop a custom WordPress theme using the underscore starter theme and Bootstrap 4. Now, if you want to get all the files for DevWP, then you can go to my website Just go to pixelmap.com forward slash devwp. Click on get devwp. Fill out the information here. And for just $10, I'll send you all the code for devwp. That way you could just work along with it while you watch the videos. You definitely don't need to buy it because by watching the other videos that are part of this playlist, you'll see all the code that I use. But if you want to have it right there in front of you while you're watching the video, go ahead for just 10 bucks, you get all the code right there. And I'm also working on my WordPress theme development guide, and that will be packaged with the DevWP training theme. All right, so again, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification icon, so that way you'll be notified whenever I create a new video. Leave your comments down below, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.